Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's update, um, we will be talking about six different um, places we can buy cryptocurrency as well as stocks. I also want to throw out a, a hi and a, a thank you to my friend and viewer, Tommy, for wishing me a happy birthday yesterday on Facebook. Thank you for that, Tommy. I'm, that's very much appreciated. And besides cryptocurrencies, we're also going to talk about the new Texas gun law that they're trying to, they're trying to pass where you do not have to be registered to get a gun. I don't know about you guys, but that should be a very interesting topic. But to start off with, let's talk about cryptocurrencies. I, I, well, and stocks, put that way. So it's, they both go hand in hand, really. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to put some pictures up here of my portfolios from the six different places that I actually have stocks with. Uh, Robinhood, Go, Coinbase, First Trade, Gemini, and Crypto.com. And I got various different cryptocurrencies, all the way from Dogecoin, all the way up to uh, this one coin out there called Amp, and other co up to other cryptocurrencies. And like I said, if for the um, stock part, I mean, Robinhood's not bad for you know investing in stocks. Neither is uh, Let's see here. Doe's pretty good, and First Trade's actually pretty good as well. First Trade, I mean, I signed up with First Trade, and I basically got a uh, free share of Nokia. And it's been going up and down by 10 cents here or there, so it's been staying about the same. It hasn't been going up at all. And I don't know, I can't really read their website that well. I'll actually put a picture up on there for you so you can maybe help me navigate it better because it's sort of confusing a bit. And like I said, I also am with Robinhood. With Robinhood, I actually have, uh, I have I think, 815 Dogecoin that are basically, oh my gosh, it's just, it's laughable. Ever since it hit that 75 cent high, Dogecoin has been sticking between 30 and 35 cents for the past several weeks. And so basically, I'm not really making no money off it, it but instead, I'm actually costing me money when it keeps going down and down and down. And right now, I'm not sure if Doge is actually a very profitable endeavor at this present time. Hopefully, it will be when it gets later on when it gets better. And like I said, I mean, I also have Doe. On Doe, I actually um, invested in Aurora Cannabis Company, or I think it's called ACB, as it's called, as the stock market goes by. And I used the free stock I got from Doe to actually invest into that one. And I still have like $3.70 left over to invest, but for some reason they don't let me do uh, fraction sharing. So they won't let me get a fraction of a share for the $3.70 I have left over, which is a bunch of crap, but eh, what can you do about it, you know? And then like I said, we also have Coinbase. Um, what... It's Coinbase is alright. I mean, I got... The stocks I got with Coinbase, when you, when you see a thing, I actually got those for free. And I basically uh, sold all the stocks they gave me for it and then reinvested in other stocks. I mean, they actually have you take these quiz-like things to actually get free stocks. And trust me, they're like super easy. You can, you can guess wrong all three times and still guess the fourth one correct and still get the recommended pre uh, gift they're going to give you. And then, like I said, we also have Gemini. Which happens to be surprising because Gemini is actually when I was born. Because I'm a Gemini baby. But that's besides the point. I also, Gemini, I actually have um, a cryptocurrency called AMP. Um, let's see if I can find it for you. It's way down the list. It is AMP. It, I bought in it at 0 0.05, well basically 5 cents. And it's dropped down to uh, four and a half cents, so it's not doing that good either. But I don't. Ha I have like nine hundred shares in that one, so that's not that bad for five cents a share, you know. And then we also got Crypto.com, where I've actually invested in four different types of, of cryptocurrency. There, there, it's going up and it's going down mostly. Um, when you see the graph, I'll show you. But the thing about uh, Crypto.com is, after your first 29 days on Crypto.com, any trading you do or buying you do, they charge you like a fee of $2.99 per transaction. 
And there's the other the other um, crypto places don't do, the other ones don't do that. Robinhood don't do that. Doe don't do that. Um, Coinbase, First Trade, and Gemini don't do that. Just Crypto.com does that. And I'm not sure if that's actually a good thing or not, but yeah, it's a right I guess. I mean, with them, I have I got like thirteen dollars and one cents in crypto in Crypto.com coin, which is really weird. Uh, which is 100 shares in this she is s-h-i-b-a-i-u-n i have two million shares in that one because it's it's not even a cent yet so you can stock up on that one i have a feeling that's probably going to go up because i've noticed that most other cryptocurrencies on crypto.com has actually been going up so i'm figuring that so will um the one i just mentioned and I also got Sia Coin, which is 900 shares. And I also got Harmony Coin, which is 110 shares. I mean, I've totally spent probably about maybe 50 bucks on all these to have over 2 million shares of these all these coins together. I haven't bought Doge on Crypto.com yet because I, I have it on Robinhood. And I'm just going to see how it plays out on Robinhood because Robinhood also has my uh, four of the stocks on there, which are actually cannabis stocks. Because I figure once it becomes legal and the Democrats make uh, cannabis legal across the whole United States, the cannabis stock will just fucking skyrocket and shoot up. When it, when it does that, then my stocks with them will actually, well, hopefully it would be a lot better than they are because I got like very few stocks with them. But um, if you guys are interested in any of uh, the... Um, Stock apps I've mentioned, you know, Robinhood, Doe, Crypto, uh, Crypto.com, Gemini, and so on down the line. I will put those in the description. So I'll put my personal links to those in the description so you can actually check them out. And I do know that you will be able to get free stocks with um, at least two of those. Well, three if you include Robinhood and, well, Robinhood, Doe, uh, what is it? Oh my gosh, what is called? Coinbase and First Trade. Will all give you a free stock for signing up. As far as Gemini and Crypto.com, they don't really give you a free stock at all. You just sign up and invest with them. So, so not really worth it. It's sort of worth it and sort of not worth it. But I'll let you be the judges on that one. But onto a different topic that is actually a bit more pre has a bit more precedent than cryptocurrency at this present time, because money means nothing when uh, basically states allow people to buy guns without having to register them first i mean i know you guys probably watched a while ago when i showed you a 13 year old boy that walked into a, a, a gun show and actually bought a gun at a gun show without no registration no id no nothing well texas is trying to do this as well and uh they basically are trying to make it a law where you don't have to register your gun you can just walk into a store and buy a gun no background check, no registration, no nothing. And that's going to really hurt a lot of a lot of states, as well as Texas, I'm sure, for actually allowing something stupid like that to happen. I think everyone, every gun owner out there actually should be registered as well as licensed to carry a weapon. Because this way, when you fire a gun and the ballistic bullet matches the gun you came from, you're the one who's going to get in trouble for it. If you don't have it registered and you fire the gun, how are they going to match it to where who came from? That's what the whole, the whole registration and, you know, making it so all gun safety is legal. I mean, because think about it. I mean, how do you think they catch most criminals? They, they take the bullet, they do a ballistic test on it and find out the striations on it. And then basically match it up to the gun it came from. And then usually they find that gun and it usually belongs to someone and that's how they arrest them. If you're not going to get registered or anything like that to buy a gun, then you're basically going out there saying, yeah, go ahead and commit murder. No one's going to find out. No one's going to care. Well, that's wrong. Gun control is responsibility of every American out there, whether you're Republican or you're Democrat or you're independent or whatever political domination you are. Gun control, gun safety is always a part of being an American. It doesn't matter. Like I said, it doesn't matter what political background you come from. You're still American. Yes, even if you support, support Donald Trump, you're still American. And 
we just got to take care of this. We got we got to solve this problem and make let the let the Republicans that are actually trying to screw our country over know that we don't need them in office no more, and that gun control is one of the things that's going to get them kicked out of office. But as far as uh, me going on and ranting and raving about gun control, I actually do owe up my comment bar to anyone who wants to throw out a comment about any topic stuff I've talked about today, whether it be the cryptocurrencies or the gun control. You're more than welcome to let me know. And even if you have to yell at me and scream and swear at me in my comment bar, be my guest. It won't, it won't phase me. I'll try to reply to you as best as I can. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Be safe out there. And I will speak to you next time. Bye. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club. Just to party. I'm there. I get paid a fee. Let's ride out.